In this screencast, we learn the basics of how to record, edit, and share. First, launch ScreenFlow. This will launch the Configure Recording window. This can also be found under the ScreenFlow helper icon located in the menu bar in the top right-hand corner. In the menu, ScreenFlow defaults to just recording your whole desktop, but you can also choose to record external devices here. You can also pick your audio source. ScreenFlow supports the use of external microphones. I am currently using the Yeti stereo mic. There is also the option of recording your computer audio. Now we will begin our screencast. Click the record button to begin. We will record a 10 second clip. Now that we have finished creating the screencast, we need to stop the recording. Go to the menu bar and click stop recording. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift 2. The ScreenFlow editor will open automatically with our new audio and video recordings on the timeline. There are three main parts to the ScreenFlow editing window. The large central area is the canvas. This shows you a preview of all the visual elements in your project. The wide area at the bottom is the timeline. This is a visual representation of the temporal length of your project. The timeline is divided into tracks to manage different clips overlapping at the same time. On the upper right side of the editing window are the Properties tabs. These are the main editing controls of ScreenFlow, allowing you to configure each step in your project. It also includes the Media Library, which stores all recorded and imported media in an unaltered state. I want to show you a few simple edits. The first is how to make a cut. In our recording, it showed us going to the menu bar to stop the recording. Let's get rid of that. Zoom in using the timeline magnification slider in the bottom left-hand corner. Place the scrubber where you want to make a cut. To make a cut, you can either go to Edit, Split, or use the keyboard shortcut T. Then select the part you want to delete and hit delete. Now we're going to add a logo to our project and fade that in. First, we need to add our logo to the media library. To do this, you can drag and drop it in or you can click add media. Now add the logo to the timeline by dragging and dropping it where we want it to appear. To add the transition, click and drag the logo over the end of the screen recording clip. You'll see the transition area appear. To edit the type of transition, double click on the transition area. This brings up the transition inspector, where you can choose from different types of transitions. We're going to pick the cross dissolve transition. Let's see how it looks. Our final step is to animate our logo we just added. We're going to move this icon from the middle and slowly shrink it down to the bottom right hand corner. First, let's select the icon we want to animate in the timeline. Go to the Video Properties and select Add Video Action. A yellow box will appear on the selected clip. To create the animation, place the scrubber at the beginning of the video action. This is how the image will be seen at this point in the video action. Now place your scrubber at the end of the video action and adjust the icon to the size and place you want it to be at the end of the video action. We're going to resize. Hold Shift to keep its dimensions. Now move the icon to the bottom corner. Let's take a look at the video action we just created. Our final step is to export. Go to File, Export. First, give your project a name. We will name it ScreenFlow Demo. There are a myriad of presets to choose from. A good place to start is to use the Web High preset. It's possible to customize the preset by clicking its Customize button. There is also the option to scale. We will leave it at 50%. Now, you should have a basic understanding of how to record, edit, and share in ScreenFlow. Thank you.